Welcome back, everyone. I am back inside now so that you and myself can hear me speak. Um, but they're actually playing Gimme Shelter out there, so I, I'm thinking people are going to start flocking to this courtyard pretty soon. The Plaza at MGM Springfield's the place to be tonight for this uh, Rolling Stones tribute band. Pretty cool stuff. Now, any plans that you have this upcoming holiday weekend, weather-wise, we are not looking bad at all. In fact, today is just gorgeous, and I'm sure the weekend has begun for many of you at home. Uh, we've got beautiful sunny skies out there right now. We are expecting the sunshine to continue into tomorrow. We're even expecting some decent sunshine on Sunday. Memorial Day is when things start going downhill a little bit. Now, warm temperatures, very summer-like, 80s expected through Sunday. Monday, again, is when we're going to start feeling some changes out there. So Memorial Day actually looking like the worst in, as far as the forecast goes. Today's high temperatures, 86 for Springfield. Definitely warm. But again, we have lost that mugginess that we were hanging on to the last several days. So it's feeling more comfortable out there today. Beautiful day tomorrow too. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Highs in the lower to middle 80s for Western Mass. If you're doing some traveling, southern coastline and even the eastern coastline will have sea breezes. So temperatures there will be on the cooler side with lots of 60s and 70s. Sunday, pretty much the same story. You'll have dry conditions for just about everyone. Uh, there might be a stray shower here or there, but it doesn't look like a good chance. 60s out toward the Cape and Island, 70s in Boston, mid 80s for the Connecticut River Valley. Now for Memorial Day, we are going to wake up to a cloudy sky. It'll be muggier, but also cooler. High temperatures will only make it into the low 70s for Monday afternoon. Now we'll be in the 60s through the morning with a chance for a shower, but the best shot at dealing with rain is going to be later in the afternoon and evening. So whether you're headed out to any kind of ceremony, services, parades, first half of the day is looking drier than the second half. And if you're doing some traveling on Monday, the second half, keep that in mind. Not only is it going to be a busy travel, day, but the rain's going to slow you down. Taking a look at the radar right now, we're seeing rain across the Ohio Valley, the Midwest, the Deep South, but nothing for New England, except for Maine, but they are going to start drying out soon. Future cast showing gusty breezes starting to subside overnight. Wind will take a shift back to the east and northeast through early tomorrow morning, but we still have more of that northerly flow throughout the day. Low humidity, good sunshine, scattered high clouds start drifting in for the afternoon, but as you can see, we stay rain free. Now, a warm front approaches Sunday morning, maybe a spot shower, definitely some patchy clouds, and this is early. Then we're out ahead of a cold front, so it will be a little bit more humid, but still plenty of sunshine. That could possibly spark an isolated shower in the afternoon. It's very going to going to be very hit or miss. So I think a lot of us will end up keeping dry weather. But don't be surprised if you see the clouds get a little bit dark on Sunday. Then on Monday morning, as you can see, just a few light showers for Western Mass. But looking back to our west, there is a soaking rainfall that will be headed our way for later in the day on Monday. So Monday conditions deteriorate by the evening. We'll be dealing with a soaking rain, potential for some downpours, and even some strong wind gusts. So there is something to keep an eye on for late Monday. Um, we'll, of course, keep you posted throughout the weekend. Tuesday Tuesday, not looking too bad. We're drier, we're warmer after rain exits early in the morning, like around sunrise. Then Wednesday into Thursday, we have another round of showers. We're unsettled and cool to end the week, but possibly a little bit humid. And then going into next weekend, still kind of early, but it looks like it could potentially end up being a 50-50 situation. But this weekend, this weekend is pretty nice. So head out and enjoy it. Wrapping things up here at MGM, Chris, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Jennifer.